Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Fibs and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about how to fix your launcher for Wuthering Waves on PC. So Epic Games is having some issues launching Wuthering Waves. I don't know why it is, but if you are having this issue where you open up your Epic Games launcher and you go to your library and you start Wuthering Waves and it doesn't run, if you can't even get the launcher to come up, then what you need to do is uh, once it says that it's running because this screen won't pop up. You'll need to open your task manager. You can do that by pressing control alt delete, or you can just search it in your windows uh, search bar at the bottom. So you pull up your task manager, you find weathering waves. Uh, it'll say KR install external. And if the actual launcher is not showing up for you, it will be under the Epic games launcher. So there'll be a little drop down tab next to the Epic games launcher. Uh, and it'll be the same thing, but whatever it is, you just click on it, you right click, and then you go to open file location. And once you have that opened, you just need to come all the way down to the bottom and find the launcher, not launcher epic, just launcher. Right click on it and click create shortcut. And then you take that shortcut and drag it onto your desktop. So once it's on your desktop, a launcher shortcut. So this is the shortcut that you'll use to open up the launcher. So just open up Epic Games and then use this shortcut and it should work nine times out of 10. It's, it's worked every time for me. Um, so once that is able to launch the actual uh, Wuthering Waves launcher for you, and then you click update. Uh, after the update, I was having some issues getting the game to actually launch after I had the launcher pulled up. So if that's the case, then I all I had to do was come up here to this little uh, wrench. You click on that, and it's going to ask if you want to repair your game client. Click on confirm. And after that, everything went super smooth for me. But it also just seems to have started happening, at least for me, uh, just after this most recent update today on the 24th, I believe it is. Yeah, today's the 24th. So if you're having the same issue, like I said, just go to your task manager, find the game. Uh, even if the launcher doesn't come up, it'll still say it's running. Uh, go to open file location. Like I said, find the launcher, uh, not Epic. You need just the regular launcher. Make a shortcut out of it by right clicking and clicking on shortcut. Uh, create a shortcut and drag it to your desktop. Use that from now on and that will always open your launcher. And then if you can't get the game to start after uh, opening your launcher, then you just have to go up to this wrench up here and repair the game files. So I hope that helped you guys. If it did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video when we see if we can go 200 miles an hour in a school zone.